On the right is the throat. Squeeze this with your thumb. Before I could officially become a tour guide here at the resort, I spent my first week learning to be a barista for the very first time. I learned so fast and I loved the atmosphere of the activity center. The people were hilarious and they were pretty tough, but they were completely themselves, which meant I could be too. I felt free here and I was excited to hit the trails soon. I was pretty stoked for my first day off though, because it meant I could finally go explore the city. Shuttles were free for employees as long as you booked one that was already taking guests to town. The bumpy trip took about an hour each way, but the gorgeous mountains made the drive so worth it. sketchiest thing I've ever done.
suggested I walk two miles down the river to Pioneer Park. So I'm gonna go do that now and take you with me. some berries that fell from a tree and I was like that's what the red stuff was and I overheard some people next to me just say that they were mulberries so as well shoes on the way to Pioneer really slow maybe it's exactly two miles I don't know but the freaking thing is like look behind me there's nothing I've ran into so many sketchy areas already that I'm just like oh should I keep going farther and then on top of that behind me it looks like it's gonna rain and I'm like no it always kind of looks like it's gonna rain but now it actually is starting to rain and I'm worried about my camera so I made the executive decision to turn around and head all the way back and forego seeing Pioneer Village. So once again, my plans are kind of foiled. But that's okay. I'll just see where the day takes me. But it's definitely been kind of weird, not gonna lie. People keep passing me. I wish I could hold the camera like this. It's just not a town like, that you can see people doing that in. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> so, random energy plant right here. Just, it's just interesting. But now I have to put my camera away because it's raining and I don't want it to get wet. So, I guess I'll see you later.
here. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whip. The TV paparazzi, like a little saloon set up there, and a, you know, it's really like an old west. All right. Or 1040, 1045. It depends on how much snow and ice there is. And you get up there, and there's um, a yurt up there, a great big, huge yurt. Yep. And you go into the yurt, and there's a pellet stove inside of there. And it's very toasty inside of there. And they serve hot chocolate and cup of soups, and then whatever else. I read something right along. Oh, all right. That's right where they 